We mentioned earlier that there are a number of useful libraries outside of Matplotlib. Particularly when working with data, a data set like the World Development Indicators, creating geographic overlays can be a powerful way of visualizing your data. So by the end of this video, you should be able to use the Folium library to create geographic overlays. So jumping into our uh, Jupyter Notebook, uh, before you're able to use Folium, you may need to install it on your system. You'll also want to grab the JSON file listed below and place it in your uh, folder under geoworldcountries.json if you haven't already. So let's set this up. So I'm going to import Folio, import pandas as PD, and then I'll set up this geo. So let's read back uh, the world development indicators. Again, this can take some time because it's a, it's a large data set. And then by running data.head, I can see that this is the same data as before. So what we want to do next is let's pull out the CO2 emissions for all the countries in 2011, just like we did before. Checking the data, it looks like we got back the indicators we wanted. So let's set up our data for plotting by keeping just the country code and the values that we plotted. So we'll pull in just those values, and we can see that we get back uh, the country code and the value. We'll also want to extract the name of the indicator for use uh, as the legend in the figure. All right, now we're actually set up to create the Folium interactive map. We'll tell it to create a map at a fairly high level of zoom. And then next, we'll use the built-in method called uh, chloroplath to attach the country's geographic JSON and the plot data. We need to specify the relevant columns. Key on feature ID refers to the label in the JSON object, which has the country code as a feature ID attached to each country's border information. Now, you could find this by reading the JSON object. But this is the tie that we need to set up our data. Our country code in the data frame matches the feature ID in the JSON object. Next, we specify some of the aesthetics, like the color scheme and the opacity, and then we label the legend. So the output of this plot is going to be saved as an HTML, HTML file. And the HTML file is actually interactive. So what we'll need to do is uh, save it and then read it back into the notebook in order to interact with it on the map. And now we have our map. Notice first that the dark colors imply a higher CO2 emissions per capita. Uh, the US and uh, some of the European countries as well as Middle Eastern countries uh, stand out as being high producers of CO2 per capita. Uh, but remember that this is not total CO2 emissions, this is CO2 emissions per capita. So countries with large populations could uh, have high CO2 emissions, but still have a lower CO2 emissions per capita. So we provide this notebook as an example of how to do geographic overlays, but also as an example of how to use additional visualization libraries um, and how they can be powerful depending on your visualization needs. So please be sure to check out the readings along with our library recommendations on what visualization library might work best for your needs.